Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to my blog, Learning by Doing. About a year ago, I had to give away my snake, Squishy, which I had for nine years, which was very, very sad for me because I really love him. And uh, now I'm back in Finland, and today he's moving home. So I'm gonna show you how to set up a cage for a snake like Squishy. This is the cage. As you can see, it's been through a lot. If you're planning to get a big uh, snake like Squishy and you need a terrarium this size, always try to keep it horizontal when you carry it. And uh, never put it up standing because the pressure of the weight and the glass might break it. Now, I live on the sixth floor. This cannot go into the elevator. So, this is what happens when you try to move it around. But, I watched some MacGyver. I have some duct tape, so it's nothing I can't fix. So, um, now we're gonna go to the ground stuff. I use uh, pine bark, like this. Make sure to put enough because snakes like to, you know, crawl in and dig under it, so. So the next step is to give him some hiding spots. We want to make one dry spot and one wet. So this is some ground covering material. This is um, I'm just gonna pour it in here and then add water, and that will make it nice uh, moisture. There we go. And of course, a big and nice water bowl. You know, it's funny, but one of the most common questions people ask me: uh, Does Squishy drink and does he poop? Yes, like all the other animals he does. So I feed him like one to two kilos a month and he poops once a month. So, yeah. This is what I have in a, the terrarium for Squishy. Uh, a dry spot, the box right here. And then this is like a wet box for him. They need both. Uh, the ground stuff, then uh, a lamp. The, the bigger the snake, the bigger the lamp. Water ball, and that's, uh, that's pretty much it. And then you have to remember to spray Spray with a spray can or have something that keeps it, keeps the cage moisturized uh, at all times. Okay, let's say hi to Squishy. So, this is the moment I haven't touched or seen Squishy in a year, so I can't wait to pick him up. I have no idea how he's gonna react. You know, he hasn't really been cuddled with. And actually, he hasn't eaten in months. But yes, snakes can go like a year without food, so should be okay. Snakes can get a bit stressed when they move, so move from one place to another. Hey, you. Okay. <laughs> You're skinny. He's lost weight. Speaking of he, uh, a lot of uh, People have actually asked um, or said, mentioned that it's pretty big for a male, and you're right, it's not a male. But it took me nine years to realize that. When uh, they told me in the beginning that it's a guy, but then after nine years, I met a snake expert, and they're like, yeah, no, it's a female. So I'm still used to calling it a he. I can't wait to see how he likes it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just write on the comment, comment section below. And uh, yeah, like if you like and uh, subscribe. I'm so glad he's home. Ah, <sighs> squishy.